And I will leave this program with this, man. I brought one for my boy Anthony. And I brought one for myself. And I brought it. And it has a significance why I brought it. I even told Ben, grab one. Grab one. And he grabbed one. I gave him one. And he said, why, why I want this, man? And I told him the significance. And he's like, oh, you're right. I grab this rocks. Look at this. They're really simple rocks. Really simple. These rocks are from Guatemala. These rocks are from the train that is called the beast on the train wrecks, train tracks. These two rocks. <clears throat> this goes out for all the Guatemala people. Do you see how easy it is for me to go to your country and grab something from your land and take it and bring it? And not asking you for permission. Do you see how important this rock probably is to you? It's a piece of a puzzle. For you. From the train wrecks that you guys have. From the train tracks that you guys transfer yourselves from South America to America. This rock, I grabbed it from your land. This is yours. Now it's mine, without permission, without asking you, without telling you. I didn't tell you nothing. And this other rock, I'm going to give it to my partner, Anthony, is going to go to America. Without asking you, without telling you, without giving no permission, without crossing no borders, no documents, no security, no nothing. This is your rock and it is mine now. It's not yours. It's mine. I own it. I stole it from you. Like you're doing with my land. Like you're doing with my people. Like you're doing with the indigenous in Tapachula. Like you're doing with the social security and the medical care for the people, homeless people in the United States, the veterans. Exactly like that. I have it. You don't have it. I have it now. This is money. It's mine. It was yours and it's mine. I take it. I'm Mexican. I went to your country and I stole a rock from your train racks. It is mine now. It's not yours. It's mine. And I'm going to give 3,000% out of this rock. It's mine. Do you like that? Did you like me standing in your lawn and, and stealing this rock? This little piece of rock. Do you know how valuable this is? Probably it is the value of a dollar. Do you know how much an American sweats for a dollar? This is your dollar, your land, your rock. Do you know how much a Mexican sweats for one peso? This is your rock. This is your land. I stole it. It's mine. Do you like that? No, you don't like it. Why you don't like it? Because this is yours. And you're supposed to fight for what is yours. And this is your mineral. This is your land. This is your money. It's not mine. This is your quetzal. It's not a peso and it's not a dollar. It's your money. It's not mine. And it is exactly like that. How we feel. It is exactly like that. That these minerals. These resources. This whatever you want to call it. It is yours. And you're rich with them. Why you want to come to my country. And get this. When you already have it. You have rocks. I have rocks. America has rocks. Stay with your rocks and stay in your country with your minerals and your resources. 
Stay with him. Because I just told him. Yes, told him. It's mine now. Uh, you ain't getting them. It's mine now. It's mine. This one goes to the U.S. It's not yours. It's theirs now. Mm, you're not getting them. You want it? Come get it. Like you want that, that medical care? Come get it. You want free jobs? Come get it. You want that 6,000 pesos that I'm most promising you? Come get it. But every time, people are going to get what is yours. And you're not going to like it. That is exactly the analogy that you were telling me, that protester. No, 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 no. When it comes to America, I want to migrate. So tell Trump to treat us like humans and don't treat us like product. I'm telling you exactly the same thing. Treat my country, Mexico, like humans. Respect, appreciate, and don't treat my country like a trampoline. Exactly the same thing. That's why it was a double standard. You treat my country with respect and you treat my country like it is. Because you're telling that the president of the United States is treating you like product. But they're not treating you like humans. But when I take something from you, oh my God, you're stealing from me. But you want to come to my country and say, oh, no, 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 I have all the rights. No, 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 sir. This rocks are mine now. Exactly like that. Exactly like that. And you're doing that. No te gusta que te hagan, pero te gusta hacer. You don't like people doing you, but you like to do people. Let's understand something, people. This man right there that they have criticized me so bad that I'm socialist because I follow this man. This man is my idol. And I will continue to say it to the last day that I die. He's my idol. He's the only Mexican that I look up to my whole life. And he said something really important to the Mexican indigenous people. La tierra es de quien la trabaja. The land is worthy for the people that work for it. Not for the government. For the people that work for the land. Those are the ones that deserve the land. Zapata. This is your land. I took it. You're taking away mine. I'm taking away yours. It's not a good example. But it's an example for you to think. About criticizing a president. That because of that president of the United States. You're standing at a protest. And you're asking for national security. You're standing because of Trump. You're standing protesting because you want your sovereignty. Because of him. Because he made you. He made you think that first is your country. Always your country first. Because of that guy. My president. Worst president. He's a socialist. But because of the other one that is up in the north, you protested in Guatemala. And you were saying to me that you want the best thing for your country. Amazing. What a little rock can do. What a little 5% tariff can do. What a little idea of protecting your country, what can do. So this is a message for all of these people. It's changing. Changing. People don't want it. People don't want the caravan. It is affecting economically. Too much corruption. Fake documents. Tapachula citizens. They're waking up. False documents. They don't want it. They're waking up. Tapachula citizens. They're protesting. They're waking up. And I got your rock. And I got a piece of land from your land. And I stole it. You don't like it. 
And I don't like it either. And America doesn't like it. Message. Let's respect each other. El respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. The respect for other humans' right is the peace. That has to do a lot with this example that is so stupid that is a rock. It has to do a lot with that. Thank you, people, for understanding me, my emotions. <laughs> I tend to get a little bit excited. But I brought these rocks. And one of them is for my boy Anthony right here. This one's for you, boy. To keep it as what they've been doing to your country. And this is for me. So it has that analogy. It's not about giving. And it's not about taking. It's about making them understand. Respect our country. Peace and love. That's why that slogan is so important. Peace and love. And always your country is first. That's why. Peace. Let's do things in peace. Love. Let's love each other. And always your country first. Not peace and love. Eh, hippies. No. It has a significance. It has a significance. Peace. Let's give peace to each other and love. Let's love each other to, so we can make a country great and always your country first. That's why these rocks are so important. Questions, everyone. <laughs> they want to ask me, uh, 